Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, you guys have asked for this and just keep asking, even though I've shown it in other videos, but I'm bringing it to you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys the best NVIDIA GPU control panel settings you can be using for specifically Fortnite performance. Like you guys have literally spammed my comments with this. So many of you wanted me to do it. I've mentioned it before, as I've already said, but I'm just going to bring it to you guys in this video. I never actually wanted to make a dedicated video on this, but here we are. Now, if you guys go ahead to enjoy this video in any way, shape or form, the least you're going to do for me is Drop a like, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on, therefore you never miss an upload just like this, you know, it's completely free, really to support the channel, you can always unsubscribe, lay it down the line, and you know, we've just hit 75,000 subscribers, I want to thank you guys so much, I did promise I'll be doing a face reveal, I've just ordered my new camera, and when it does come in within the next few days, I will be recording a face reveal video, and uploading that to my YouTube channel. So again, straight into this, as you can see, I'm over my desktop. I'm going to just navigate to my control panel. All you want to do is if you like, you have to have an NVIDIA control panel for this video, meaning you do need an NVIDIA graphics card. And um, obviously, if you do have one, what you want to do is just right click your desktop and you should see right here NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you cannot see it or cannot access it just by doing this, you want to go down to your little search bar, Windows search and just type in NVIDIA control panel. Now, mine doesn't come up here because it comes here instead. But if you can't find it this way, just simply search it in. And now, if that still doesn't work, some of you guys may be like, bro, I have an NVIDIA GPU and I I still can't see it you have to actually just install the control panel because for whatever reason it just it wasn't installed i don't know why like that can be a bug i'm pretty sure when you deep load windows or some version of windows it just won't fully install so in that case what you want to do here is type in microsoft store and go into the microsoft store i'm not going to do it right here but you can download the control panel right off the store and alternatively if that doesn't work just go into google type in i don't know nvidia control panel download and you should find it but assuming you can now all get into your control panel of course what you want to do is open it and you should be greeted with this screen now what you want to do is go first of all we're gonna start with our 3D settings. I go to 3D settings, click into the little tab down and go into adjust image settings with preview. What we wanna do here is first of all, click the third option, drag this little marker thing all the way down to performance. Then what you wanna do is now select the second option, which is user advanced 3D image settings and simply press apply. Once it applies, you wanna press take me there. You should be able to see this. If not, just tap down here to manage 3D settings. And now what we're gonna do is this is the most important part. We're gonna change our global settings. Now, first of all, for the most part, what you guys wanna do is just literally copy these like, bar for bar, word for word, copy all of these settings here. You can, um, I don't know, pause the video. So maybe pause it now. Assuming you've just copied that, now pause it again here and copy these. And now assuming you've copied all the way from this right here, now just do everything below this. And now hopefully you should have them all copied. And now we're gonna actually change a few things. Actually, first of all, I do wanna point out, not all of you guys will have every single setting I have in here. It can vary from your graphics card, like the model of your graphics card you have. So it can be Nvidia, but it depends what Nvidia graphics card you have. You may not have certain things. Could just generally be your system. So don't worry if you don't see things like this. So truly near opt. I don't even know how to say that. But optimization. If you don't have this one, don't worry. The same with negative LOD bias. You may not have this silk smoothness. Another one you may not have. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with that. But there are easy ways to get this, and you can just probably find them on Google. So you may want to do that just before we go any further. But now again, assuming you have these copies, some things you can change. Now image sharpening, mm, you can change it. It's like having it off. It's proved to give you the best performance, but it isn't the biggest of a difference. This just shows sharpens your image but you can do that other ways i will show you other ways you can sharpen your image later on like you can literally do it in, actually no i'll just tell you now you can do it in your display and i'm pretty sure you can also do it in the adjust desktop color settings tab right here i won't click onto it but i'm sure you can do it there if not just do it in your display it's not really worth it but i don't know some people have this set to a certain preference like i've seen pro players use this for whatever reason i don't know if they don't know they can do it in the monitor or there's something to it but for the best performance have it off with things like ambient occlusion like all of these it's just a no-brainer you want them off like no matter what because they do really affect performance like all these you want off now low latency mode this is one that is pretty interesting now the rule for this or the rule i've went by and it's helped me performance wise and helped many people the rule like a lot of big pc tweakers fps tweakers the best out there will tell you probably the same thing right here and basically for the most part you want this turned off well i say for the most part but let's just say in your actual in-game settings you're not using performance mode now i know a lot of you guys will be but if you're not using performance mode you should have the option to actually select something that'll say like on plus boost it should literally be called like nvidia um reflex low latency i think and you can set that to on plus boost within fortnite but if you are not using performance mode maybe using DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 you can actually select low latency mode within fortnite and then make sure it's just turned off in here so if you have it turned on in fortnite have it off in here and now on the flip side for you guys that are using performance mode and do not have the option maybe you just haven't updated your driver or you are again using performance mode what you want to do alternatively is because it will be automatically disabled and turned off within your game instead you want to have it turned on in here and 
And yes, to clarify, have it turned on. Don't set it to ultra. I know you guys are probably thinking like, this is meant to lower latency. Surely you want it on the highest setting. Trust me, it's been proven. Performance is better with this turned on. Now that only goes if you don't have anything to do with low latency turned on in game. But moving on, things like OpenGL, rendering GPU, sorry, what I just spoke about took a little bit long, but I'm just trying to make sure you guys understand everything. But OpenGL, rendering GPU, make sure this is just set um, to whatever your graphics card is. It should let you do that. Power management. Again, I told you to copy the settings, but this is another one that I don't really need to mention. It's a no brainer. Just have this on preferred maximum performance. Don't have this on anything else. Like some people do set this to like optimal power. Like I've actually seen people do that because they think it's better. Like, I don't know why you think it's better. Like maybe you're actually, this sounds really stupid, but maybe your parents want to save power. I'm really questioning what I just said, but yeah, it's not a good thing to save power on your system in any way. Like you want to be using the most power so you get the best performance just to clarify if that was a, a wonder. I'm generally serious when I say that. I'm sure there are kids out there. And now silk smoothness, if you did end up going out your way to get this, it's actually very much subjective. And now I've never seen anyone use this on ultra, but I would recommend you try both low, medium, high, and off. Now, personally, I think a good mid balance, like the default setting for this, um, like not changing anything, it's just low. For me, this makes my game feel the best. It's almost like cutting latency and it, your game can feel more choppy. And like, it's just very much system dependent. You know, morally at the end of the day, it's all subjective. So go into Fortnite or whatever game you're playing, I'm assuming it's Fortnite. What you want to do is go between low, go between medium, maybe go between high. I'd say to be honest, maybe even just low and medium. See what you prefer best. Even turn it off. See if that works. I wouldn't recommend you try ultra. Like it's just not worth it. It's going to feel most likely really bad. But try the rest and see what you prefer. Like what feels the smoothest. And yeah, I feel like that is actually it for the global settings. There isn't really much more you'll need to change. Um, VSync. I feel like I should probably just mention this to you guys. I know there will be comments like, should I use VSync or not? I've heard people have asked me that before. Um, don't use it unless you play at 60 FPS. So you're almost capping at 60 like you can only get 60 fps maybe then i would actually recommend it because i have heard it can be good for those lower frame rates but if you are anywhere and i mean anywhere above 60 fps do not use this whatsoever because it can induce latency and make your game feel super delayed and it just isn't good like you don't want to use this g-sync on the other hand it's actually very beneficial a lot of pros use g-sync so don't get that confused v-sync is bad g-sync is pretty good and now finally moving on i mean a little bit away from this we're kind of in the same section but just tab over from global settings over here now to program settings once here you want to just select a program to customize now what you want to select is fortnite you need to make sure it's the one that says fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping dot exe now to add this if you don't see it already on your list what you want to do is just press add right here and it should hopefully be somewhere on this list right here especially if you've recently opened it but if not you can just press browse and then just search for it on your pc it'll be in fortnite directory so wherever you installed your game if you don't know where you installed your game what i'd recommend is you completely uninstall the game reinstall it and then you can select where you're installing it so you then know but once you find whatever it is you just want to like select it press add selected program and then it should let you alter some things here now we don't really have to change too much all we want to do is just ensure each of these settings are all set to use global settings so it can't be off it can't be any other value it can't be application controlled it needs to be use global settings just make sure each one basically says that and now moving completely away from our 3d settings things like the configure surround sound thing we just ignore that completely and now what we need to do and probably you guys don't have this it's a little developer tab right here now if you don't have this what you're gonna do is just go up to the top where it says desktop and you should be able to just enable this right here enable developer settings click on that and then it will open this little tab you then want to go to manage gpu performance counters and i would recommend you just allow access to the gpu performance counters to all users so just this setting right here allow access and once you do that now going down to display all we want to do here is just ensure that we have the highest refresh rate selected for our monitor everything else here i'll just recommend you use nvidia color settings and just have them set exactly to this now moving down to just desktop color settings um this is kind of all actually preference so it's what you prefer personally right now so i'll just have it set to 50 contrast keep don't really change your contrast i wouldn't recommend that at all gamma don't change hue do not change but vibrance i would recommend you are to actually up this by maybe 15 to 20 percent so highest i'll probably go with 70 you can see this for yourself see what you enjoy i know booger is actually one pro who has done this i think he uses about 70 to 75 percent digital vibrance and that is upping it by about 15 to 20 percent and it does just make your colors look a lot better you can't actually see this on the obs recording because it's client side but yeah my colors are very um almost saturated and vibrant right now and it does look a lot better so i personally do use mine on about 65 so you can copy that if you want and i'm moving down skipping all these other tabs here going to adjust desktop size and position this is another one that is huge like it's a very big one for this i actually need to select this monitor right here because this is going to be important but what you're going to do is go to scaling set your scaling mode first of all to full screen then what you want to do is perform scaling on 
your display you should have hopefully two options in here both GPU and display now if you have display select display because if you're not using display basically what GPU scaling does it induces latency onto I'm pretty sure the render pipeline and basically just makes your game almost have input lag when you are to lower your resolution so let's say using stretch resolution with GPU scaling that'll force almost input lag to your game and it's not going to be nice so that's why I would recommend display scaling now if you only see one option so in this case this is, this is all you see so you just see just GPU that means your monitor unfortunately does not have a display scaler it doesn't mean it's a very bad monitor preferably you do want one especially if you are to lower your resolution so I would recommend if you only have GPU so you can't select display scaling just probably use native resolution because um, you don't want to really be lowering that because then you're gonna get more input lag but it isn't the be all or end all just simply have it set to GPU and preferably use native and yeah guys I'm pretty sure that's about it like these settings I guess you can copy them I don't think I've actually changed anything I think these are all default but that is about it for our Nvidia control panel now if you guys did enjoy this video this did help in any way shape or form the least you can do for me is drop a like subscribe to the channel post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this I do really hope this video could help um you guys asked for it I brought it out I delivered this for you guys so yeah I'm just generally hoping you can enjoy this and um I did benefit you from you guys I know I'm gonna also have a ton of comments of um this is probably too late you guys are probably off the video anyway but you AMD users you Intel users you may have watched this anyway you're probably commenting right now asking for me to make a video for your control panels unfortunately I don't have either AMD or Intel myself so I just couldn't help like I've learned all this Nvidia GPU stuff from personal experience over time trying different things and also from like big pro players big like tweakers and such but I've never learned anything about AMD or Intel so it just wouldn't work I'm sorry I'm sure you can find a video somewhere else but yeah nonetheless again I hope this could help I hope everyone has an amazing day it's been with fetch and yeah peace